Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting video. Today I have the Duo Board Type R from Build Kit Boards and this thing was super fun to build and of course it's super fun to ride but I'm gonna go over the new features and why I think it's the best DIY electric skateboard kit right now. So let's go. So here's the difference. As you can see, obviously the deck, the Type R is gonna be a black deck and it's gonna have a different shape, a different cut. It's gonna be wider uh, on this side and it's gonna go slightly in towards the center. And um, honestly, I, I have no problem with that. It looks good. And they added the, the foam grip tape. It's gonna give uh, overall just better comfort and better shock absorption. And also they have the rear facing motor mounts. Purchase and uh, this was easy to install and I think it looks better this way, in my opinion. And we still have the same dual 3000 watt motors and they're gonna feel more powerful uh, with the new, uh, the higher voltage uh, setup. So I'll talk about that later, but they also added the new sink plates or red bars, whatever you wanna call them. And a lot of people were debating whether to mount um, shred light mounts underneath or on top I would suggest uh, installing them underneath the sink plates that way the tapered screw heads sit properly on top and that's pretty much it on the back end let's take a look underneath again we have the artwork here in the tracks today looks really nice and we have the larger enclosure and this is Really the big change is the battery pack. We have, uh, we have now a P42A Molly cell, 12S5P in here at 908 watt hours. And that's just gonna give you a higher performance. Like I said earlier, you're gonna feel more torque and you're gonna get a higher top speed with this battery setup. So good job on that BKB. The BKB Voyager and I have a couple of them. This is the beta and this is the actual one and it's pretty much the same thing, but this has the grip and a couple more accessories. But for the most part, it feels really nice in hand. It has that joystick style and um, it is multi-directional, but really in response to forward or back, but it feels good in hand. It has a 0.95 inch display. Let me go ahead and turn it on for you guys. So you can see. So you got your standard uh, board power, you got your um, remote power, and you got on the bottom right there, you have how, how many amps you're pulling from the board. You got your low, high, and medium modes. And if you hold the setting button, that'll take you to your settings. And you have board parameters, you have ports configuration, you have uh, receiver configuration, you have remote config, you have board parameters. So um, pretty basic stuff, but a cool thing about this is you can control uh, the throttle power on each speed mode. So um, I'm still learning about the remote and um, but so far I have no complaints. It feels really good in hand. If I were to build another board, I would definitely use the Voyager as my remote. So no complaints here. This thing feels solid in hand. Also, I wanted to go over the speed upgrade, and for those of you who haven't seen it, this is what the uh, 20T motor pulley looks like. And this is what's going to get you up to 40 plus miles per hour. So if you pair this with a wheel diameter with at least 110 or higher, you're going to catch 40 miles an hour. It may depend, I mean it will depend on rider weight and road conditions and weather. And uh, that's pretty much it. You will reach that top speed. It's just a matter of how fast you do and how much runway you have. But this is what's gonna get you to that top speed. Now, when you put this on, you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of torque, uh, but you're gonna have all that crazy top speed. But for me, I'm sticking with the 15T motor pulleys cause, just cause I enjoy the torque so much. So I'm gonna leave that there. Another thing I wanted to touch on, if you wanted to increase your torque even more, you might wanna check out the 48T wheel pulleys. If you pair the 48T wheel pulleys with the stock 97s, 
Good luck. The torque is insane. So I just got these in from Antra. These are the 115 millimeter rubber wheels. And I've heard a lot of good things about these, but I decided to try these out because um, I have the pneumatics on the original Duo and I wanted to try something new for the Type R. So um, with these, I'm assuming you can get the comfort of the pneumatics without sacrificing the range. And it, it looks really nice. Look at the treading on there. It's nice and fat. So um, I'm excited to see how these feel. Let's go check it out. So these are the 115 uh, millimeter rubber wheels on the Type R and let me tell you they feel pretty damn good. Ultra smooth, uh, they roll nice and they dampen a lot of the bumps and cracks you feel on rough roads and sidewalks actually feel really nice to ride on, to ride on with these wheels so I'm probably going to keep these on. Um, I like how the treading is on the, on the wheel, uh, I like how the wheel looks but it does feel good on this build so if you want um, wheels that are going to give you the comfort of pneumatics without sacrificing the range, these might be a good option for you. Alright, so the Duo Board Type R is definitely a fun and fast board. and. It's everything I want in an, a DIY electric skateboard kit. I mean, it has the best cells in the industry. They're using the Molly Cell P42As, and they threw in a 12S5P at 908 watt hours, and that's just gonna yield better performance, higher top speed, more torque, more power, all good things. And you, you definitely feel those things on the Type R. And they have the new deck shape, right, with the, the foam grip tape. That's a plus, and they have their rear-facing motor mounts. They have the new Voyager remote, all that functionality with a 12-hour battery life. If I were to do another build, which I probably will, I would probably use the Voyager as my remote. Oh yeah, and of course, the Zenith ESC, the version two. That ESC is just awesome. You can do anything with it. It'll take 100 different motors, a bunch of different remotes. I mean, the experimentation is endless, and that's the beauty of DIY. Plus, building Type R, was super fun. It's always about the build for me. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up. If there's anything I miss, or if you have any concern, just let me know in the comment section. There's always something I miss. But until then, have fun, ride safe. See you guys later.